can somebody explain to me why I came to get vaccinated with my camera to record then I forgot to put a sim um, an SD card in my camera so <laughs> I just had to you know get a little clip on my phone but yeah I don't like needles at all. It's fine. This is small and spike. This is going into the delta in my Okay. That's all the That's it? Not too bad, right? Yeah, not too bad at all. Oh. I'm really, I freak out. That was good. Thank you guys so much. You're welcome. <laughs> so now you're going to put us for 15 minutes. Okay. In the area. Oh, okay. Please. Thank you. I got vaccinated, the first dose. Um, second dose would be four weeks after. So my appointment is the 26th of July. I did it at the Levi Latham Health Center. They were very nice. Like, I normally do not like needles but I legit didn't even really feel it. Like it was over in like three seconds and I didn't even realize that it was over. I was expecting something a lot worse. I had like really psyched myself out. Um, yeah, I mean, I did it, I really did it. So um, they gave me a leaflet to read, you know, that's going to talk about the vaccine and maybe some of these symptoms I might experience. They also gave me some paracetamol that I am to take if I start um, getting the side effects. If, if I do experience side effects, then they should last no more than 48 hours. If they extend beyond 48 hours, then I have to come back to the, um, to the hospital. So it's okay. I feel good for now. I will check in with you guys later on today. I am going to work. I just have to sit here first. I'm for 15 minutes so they can see if I get any immediate adverse reactions, which I'm not feeling anything. So I just have a few more minutes left, then I can go to work. Hopefully, if I start experiencing symptoms, then um, they don't um, happen until I'm back home and in my bed. <laughs> so I'll keep you guys updated. Hey! Okay, so it is a little bit after four and I'm on my way home. What symptoms am I having so far? My arm is cramping. I have some, um, a little bit of soreness at the injection site, but my arm itself, I'm getting some cramping in my arm. Um, I was having like a little, little bit of headache today nothing too major i didn't even have to take any pain pills or anything but i just like wanted to leave work at exactly four o'clock as soon as i get home i'm going to pop some pills and just relax myself because i really want to ensure that my side effects are minimal six hours later Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> Legit, I feel like I came back from the dead. That is how messed up the vaccine had me. So I took it on Monday morning. Um, I started experiencing symptoms a little bit before I left work at 4 p.m. Monday evening. Um, Monday night, I had a fever and I had chills. I think we call it ague here in the Caribbean. Then, um, you know, I tried to be a hero and I came to work on Tuesday. I was feeling like crap, but I had so many things to do. I came to work on Tuesday and I couldn't make it. I had to leave, I had to go home because my fever was like legit 102 when I checked it at work. So I immediately went home. Um, I took some more pills and I got some rest. And then when I woke up at around, say, 6, um, my fever had broken. And, you know, I started feeling much better. I'm so happy that the symptoms didn't last a full 48 hours. Um, yeah. I'm actually in my car at work waiting on the rain to be over. We are having 
two tropical weather systems coming across the Atlantic and passing us um, from today up until I think Saturday um, so yeah it's going to be a lot of rain you know that is of course going to raise a lot of concerns because we have the threats of mudslides and lahars and um, you know from the debris from the um, volcanic eruption that we had in April so rain is not a good thing for us right now so I'm just waiting until it you know drizzles off a little bit so I can get into the office and do what I need to do the next day good morning it is hold on that 5.30 a.m. on Friday, July 2nd and this morning we are going to be having a tropical storm, Tropical Storm Elsa will be passing through us. I just looked at I think the last satellite imagery, well the most recent satellite imagery as of 5 a.m. that is um, showing where she is going to pass. Let me see if I could zoom this up. You see that? That means that like the center is going to pass just, just at the tip um, of the northern side of St. Vincent. But you see how huge the storm is. So like none of us are really safe. Um... So the effects, we're supposed to start feeling the effects from about 8 a.m. today. Outside looks very terrible. We're expecting, I think, what, 6 to 8 inches of rain, 10 in mountainous areas. And um, right now the winds are 60 miles per hour sustained and higher gusts. This is what outside looks. I just came outside. It is 8.30 now. The center of the storm is about, is um, supposed to pass at around 11. So these are just like outer bands. And um, a banana tree, how is that planting tree, has already fell. Luckily it didn't fall on my cousin's car, but yeah. I just went on Facebook to look, you know, at updates to see what's going on around the country and I just checked um the I always check the NOAA website and they upgraded Tropical Storm Elsa to a Category 1 Hurricane. This was not expected. It was not forecasted at all. So we are now dealing with a Category 1 Hurricane that will be on top of... Okay! Yeah, so... That was scary. That was a very strong gust of wind. So I'm going inside. I will talk to you guys from the inside of my house. Say hey guys, it's baby Kai. And, and this boy. And Aiden. All in his little sweats because it's chilly outside. What are you looking at? ITV washing. Mm -hmm. So the power is out now. It's raining. Oh, I want to. Take a nap.
until this storm has passed. Can you hear the howling wind? Mm. Bye. Hi, um, hold on. Yeah, so we still have no power. Um, I'm using my little flashlight. The government gave the all clear, uh, meaning that um, hurricane is no longer a threat to us. Um, but there are so many um, houses without roofs. And you know, down power lines. I'm not sure if we're going to get power restored until tomorrow. And um, the city will be open tomorrow. It's business as usual tomorrow. Um, so I have to go to town. So I guess I'll talk to you guys tomorrow because I'm trying to conserve battery life. My phone is like at 50%, so I'm trying not to use it at all. And my camera. I mean this battery is full but because I don't know how long it's going to take for the power to come back I don't want to exhaust it so yeah I'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye <laughs> the next day hey guys gosh look at this like the wind completely blew my hair out but I am at the airport hold on yeah, this is the Argyle International Airport. I just had to drop my friend. Oh God, my phone dropped. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit, but I don't even know who has. Just reach your airport. Hi, hi. Hi, there. Oh, me just. Oh, all right. Me call you when me done. Uh -huh. Yeah, so just dropped him off at arrivals, but I'm going to go down now to make sure that, you know, he checks in and he's not overweight and everything is okay. It's super, super windy out here. Okay guys, so I am finished out here. He's all checked in and everything, so I can go home now. I'm going to end this vlog here because I just feel like this vlog has been all over the place. So many different things. Let me just close it off, right? I'm going back into town. Oh, now to pick my aunt up, get something to eat. And head back home but um if you stuck it through to the end of this vlog then please leave a like leave a comment and hit that subscribe button um I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video bye